Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about searching within the ERIC database. The first thing to do is go to the library homepage. From the library homepage, what you're going to want to do is select the ERIC database. The quickest way to get to the ERIC database would be to go through the topic guides. Click on the topic guides and then choose the guide for education. You will see here the different databases that are useful for searching for education topics. These are not a, an all-inclusive list of the databases that would be useful for you, but these are some of the main ones that will be useful. ERIC, again, is a large database inclusive of many different types of materials, including journal articles, uh, reports, uh, different types of guides, etc. We will start by searching this. And when you click on Eric, you'll be asked for your Madai user one, Madai one username and password. Uh, we talked about logging in the databases in one of the earlier tutorials. And what you'll see here is the basic search screen for Eric. You can see multiple search fields, um, multiple search boxes, and down below a lot of different ways to limit your results. What you want to do is you want to think of what your topic is and then choose some of your keywords. Today, I want to do a quick search just to illustrate the process. I'm going to search on how you can use technology in inquiry-based learning with middle, student, middle school students. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my first search term in the first search field. So inquiry-based learning. I'll hit search and I come back with 1,378 results. What I want to do here is limit my results a little bit further, so I want to pull up my next keyword. That's going to be technology. And so now I'm down to 353 results. I can limit that further by narrowing it down to the type of students which I'm speaking of, in this case middle school students. Now I'm down to 58 results. I can further limit these results by limiting it to just full text, or to peer-reviewed journals. You can see on the left-hand side of the screen where it says limit, you can limit by, again, full text or peer review. And what peer review means is that there's a board of peers that when you write a paper, they'll take a look at it, review it, send back any changes that you may need to make on it, uh, verify your research, etc. When people are writing for academic audiences, they typically get try to get published in academic journals and many academic journals would be considered peer-reviewed journals. So if your professor asks you for a peer-reviewed journal or an academic journal, this is a way to limit your results. So I limit it to full text and peer-reviewed, and now I'm down to eight results. With any luck, one of these is going to be an article about using technology in support of inquiry-based learning in a middle school environment. Again, this is just illustrating the process of how to do a search. Um, when you do your search, it may be a little bit different, but again, this is just a quick way to show you how it's done. From here, what I could do is I could choose a result, and I click on the title, and it's going to come up with a, a more detailed citation of the result. So you'll see here is the title, the authors, the source from Science Education International, on the descriptors, and then the abstract. And so the abstract here is going to be a brief summary of what the article is about. The descriptors are going to be the terms that this article is indexed by within this database. You could see middle, student, middle school students in there as one of the descriptors. Um, inquiry is not inquiry-based learning, but inquiry and active learning are in there, um, etc. So you could see how um, your search ends up searching through the different descriptors and through the abstract and pulling out those keywords and that's how it brings up the results. From here, if I want to look at the full text of this particular article, on the bottom of this page um, there's a link for the full text from Eric. If you click on that, it'll bring up a PDF version of that particular article. Also on that page, you can see you can email the article to yourself. You can save it. Uh, 
there's a button there for citation. It does bring up a citation for the article, um, but double check it against the actual citation formats. Frequently it's a little bit off. Um, in this case, if you're using APA citation style, it may bring the title in with first letter capitals, um, and APA citation would just be the very first letter capital and the rest lowercase. Uh, so again, double check it against your citation manual. Going back to a new search, I just want to talk about some of the other options that are available. Um, if you click on where it says select a field optional, there's a drop down box. And that drop down box gives you some other options for doing searches. Uh, again, you can leave it as optional and not have to choose anything. Or if you're looking for a specific author, um, you can choose just the author and search on an author. Um, again, you descriptors in there. Um, subject terms, some different things, some different ways to actually search. Um, say I want to search for a specific author, I can choose author and Alan Feldman, and I'm choosing Alan Feldman. It was from one of the early, earlier art, articles from the earlier search I had done on inquiry-based education. I'm just going to hit search, and you can see here there's 36 articles written by Alan Feldman. Um, it's a nice way to, if you find an article that's useful to you, um, you can find out what else that author has written um, to see if there's any other articles on the topic that you might be um, researching. And again, lastly, if you need any help, just click on the Ask of a Librarian. Uh, there's different ways to contact us, either through phone or email or chat service. Uh, we're always there and willing to help you out. Um, again, if you have questions, get in touch with the library and we will be happy to help you out. Thank you.